a well-recognized national speaker who has taken the mining sector to a commendable level and a very dear industry stalwart. We are really honored to have with us today Mr. Pankaj Satija, sir, executive in charge, FAMD, Tata Steel Limited. Please put your hands together. May I please invite him to speak on Internet of Things based smart water monitoring system industry perspective. Good morning, everyone. I'm mindful of the delay. We are running behind the schedule by 20, 25 minutes. So I will not keep my presentation at large and I would like to be brief. Uh, though the presentation is in drinking water, but I would like to place why I am here. If you know Sukinda area and any mining area, the leases are contiguous. They are one by the other, it's because of the geological shape. And there is a Dumsala Nala, which is again uh, tributed to Brahmani River. So, Government of India and Odisha, as you all know, wanted to implement that each mine should have ETP. And whatever water is drawn or discharged from the mine, it should pass through ETP to that area. So there are certain mines, and each mine has put the ATP, but there are certain areas which have not been given to anyone. And that remains unattended, or, or you can say that there is no ATP on that. So that is contributing to the uh, water pollution. So we have also installed ATP in our mine, and at the same time we are drawing water from Dunsala area, and we realize that the intake of water from Dunsala area on drinking water, the input is worse than what we are discharging through ETP. Oh. So we got permission from the government. The discharge of ETP became the intake for our drinking water. That also has reduced pressure on water intake for domestic consumption and also has given many insight that how we can reduce uh, the water consumption. So, people follow two approaches. In Namami Gange and others, if you see, one approach is to clean Ganga. Other approach is to work on all the cities at the bank of Ganga. So, that if the discharge is minimized, it will put less pressure on cleaning Ganga. And that's, that's the point we, we also try to implement. And this is the map which I was mentioning about Dumsala Nala and all the mines. So we have three mines over there and there are other mines also in that area. There is a concept of virtual water also which was very popularized and this is that how the country which has water is scarce are trying to import water through food grains or through fruits. And uh, countries like Middle East where they don't have water, they they procure a lot of grapes and other uh, water-bearing fruits and they compensate their water requirement through that. There is a big dairy company also which procures uh, the fodder for their cattle from Argentina and then they export milk. So basically you are not procuring uh, fodder, you are procuring water. So that concept of virtual water is also getting a lot of prominence. And we thought that whatever we are exporting, in either in steel or in ferrochrome, the export also should have consideration on the products which are using less water. And you all are aware that air pollution in Delhi is linked to the groundwater policy of Punjab. We are also aware that the states which are not supposed to produce those agriculture produce, which they are native to that place, are producing like sugarcane in Maharashtra or rice in many other states, which is putting extra pressure on water. Government or the farmers, they want to have money, so they are procuring it, but it is making the uh, area water stress. And why I put Dumsala area or Namami Gange? Uh, because if you want to see any interventions taken by any company or any uh, stakeholder in the system, we should be mindful of 
what is the history of water body in and around that area. So there is a famous couplet of Dr. Bashir Badr, ke fursat mile to pani ki tahreeron ko padh lena, har ek dariya hajaro saal ka afsana likhta hai. So if you want to have a solution for one particular uh, pollution prevention or water treatment, it's better to look at the history of water body in and around that area so that your solution is customized. So we also thought that whatever we are producing or uh, exporting, it should have a minimal water footprint. And as you all know, Goldrat has long back told that uh, the things you are measuring or monitoring can be improved. Unless you monitor it, unless you measure it, there is a very little chance of improvement in that area. So the first thing comes that how you are measuring it, how you are monitoring it. So we have old system of flow meters. And then as you know, India is growing up in terms of young minds, new startups. We thought why not collaborate with some startups who can give certain solutions which will help us, which will help them. And there we contacted Fluxgen. And Fluxgen came to, you know, uh, our rescue, I can say. And we collaborated with them. They studied our mine, they studied our plant. So the solution was not only for the mine. We wanted to ensure or know that what is the water consumption from mine to the plant. So we have installed in the mine also and we have installed in the plant also. And each water uh, flow, we have put the sensors to know uh, how much water is being used, what is the leakage, and how we can further improve. So, in uh, Atagar plant, which is a ferrochrome plant, we have reduced the water intake from 1 cubesec to 0.5. And there are certain reports where the water consumption has gone down by 26%. So, there are various improvement and various, uh, you know, I would say, monitoring which has helped us. So mostly it is cloud-based uh, in AWS and uh, the sensors are capturing the data. One declaration I want to bring in the beginning, we have not put AI as of now, but AI is in the plan. So it's in the next stage where we will be going to deploy AI. As of now it is IoT. And this is the general uh, IoT system which you all know, that you know, this real-time monitoring system the improved decision making, efficient resource management, and then smart alerts. So it is not only on dashboard, it also on app. So app is Fluxgen Water, and anyone working in the mine or the plant can see how much water is being used, what is the water level in certain reservoirs or tanks, what is the water flow in certain system. So as we all know that IT always helps, it is easy to implement, easy to understand and that's the concept of uh, API also and UPI also in different vegetable vendors also you see that nowadays no one you know transacts in cash so everyone in Bhuneshwar also if you want to have tea also you can have it without paying in cash uh, most of the tea sellers also they have the UPI system and that's what the, I would say, ease of doing business that has helped us and uh, this system is also on that. So these are certain snapshots. Uh, people say that you have implemented what is the proof. So we monitor and we, on the daily basis, weekly basis, sometimes on hourly basis also we get what is the water availability in different hours. That snapshot is also given. <coughs> This is the app which I was mentioning, the FG Water app, which most of our officers carry and they can see, uh, not necessary to open a laptop to see what is happening. They can be uh, aware of in the area, the water consumption and water uses. And these are the different benefits. And water balancing and water intake is also, as you know, it's uh, regulated, not only through EIEMP, but also Pollution Control Board. And it's the duty of every, uh, I would say, mining company and the plant to ensure that whatever water they are using, how they are measuring the potential for the further reduction in, 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 in water. 
this is snapshot of uh, our plant that how at the different uh, unit level machines level the water consumption is there it also important to know the diurnal changes in a day how it is varying so we have started capturing on the atp uh, it also linked with the rainfall how much water we are getting so just to brief you uh, how mining interacts with water so mining interacts with water at three times one when you are doing the exploration to assess the ore body below the earth second when you are doing the mining that time uh, water body close to your benches are safety risk and those who have seen a movie kala patthar or mission rani ganj they are aware of the uh, hazards with the water and then after mining is over uh, uh, mine can be used for restoration and making water available for the community so when we are doing mining sometimes we go below the water table and that time the water in rush to the mine increases so it also depends on at what Uh, level and at what uh, section of the mine you are working if you are working close to the water table definitely the in rush of water will be more if you are working at a higher level that time the in rush of water will be lo- less however the pumping operations will continue so the diurnal variation also uh, are being captured and uh, as i mentioned it is uh, we are measuring to manage unless we measure it we will not be able to manage so these are the different installation at the different uh, units and as you all know the two common system which we follow the two common methodology electromagnetic water flow meter working principle and ultrasonic which is for the tanks and reservoirs so this is the impact summary as i mentioned that uh, it has helped us a lot but it doesn't mean that uh, it is the end we have just started the journey and we also see that there is potential to further reduce the water intake and we are exploring possibilities of use of ai in in water and that will also help so these are the potential benefit which we have drawn leakage detection data preprocessing time series analysis nml detection and these are the different benefits which we have uh, from the conventional water system so the opportunities are immense and just to give you i'm not marketing for flash gen but uh, if you recall prime minister modi in one of man ki baat has mentioned about a startup and then he mentioned about flash gen uh, much later than when flash gen started partnering with us so i would like to quote here bhagavad gita Chapter Seven, Shlok Eight. Rasoham apnusu, prabhasmi sasi shuryo. Bhagwan Krishna says to Arjun that I am the essence of water. So that is the best definition. Why and why should conserve water? Why should treat water as if it is a gift from God to us? Thank you.